Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English vocabulary for grade 7A. Here I am teaching Mr. Snaula. Today we will do the topics of synonyms and antonyms from unit 7. You will find two exercises for this purpose on pages 94 and 95. First of all, we will do the synonyms. You will choose a word from this unit 7 that is the same or most nearly the same in meaning as the boldface word or expression in the phrase. Number 1. Felt his enemy's fury. Fury means anger. For this word, you will have the synonyms wrath, W-R-A-T-H. Please write the spelling W-R-A-T-H. Wrath is the, as the answer for number one. Number two, witnessed a violent street battle. Battle means fight, a clash or tussle between two groups or parties. So our answer for number two will be brawl, B-R-A-W-L. Brawl means a clash or fight. Number three, did not rattle the experienced pilot. Rattle will have the synonym fluster as our answer for number three, fluster. Fluster means to make someone confused or to become confused during a struggle, during any activity. Number four, was responsible for a variety of household chores. For the word household, please write the synonym domestic. D O M E S T I C. Number five, committed false oath during a trial. For false oath, you will write the synonym perjury. P E R J U R Y. Perjury. Perjury means not speaking the truth intentionally or telling a lie deliberately. Number six, a really impressive effort. For the word impressive, please write the synonym notable. N O T A B L E. Notable means highly prominent or remarkable. Number seven, became an able gymnast after much practice. For the word able, you will write the synonym proficient. P R O F I C I E N T. Proficient is our answer for number seven. Number eight, not trust the script to apprentice screenwriters. Apprentice means to give training to someone. Nurture is our answer for number 8. N-U-R-T-U-R-E. Nurture also means to give training to someone, to train someone. Number 9. Had been involved in a previous arrest. The word prior will be our answer for number 9. P-R-I-U-R. Prior and previous are synonyms to each other. Both means earlier or before an event and the last one on page 94 suspected that something had gone off target and here are, our answer will be a miss a m i s s a miss means something that is imperfect now we are going to do antonyms you will choose a word from this unit 7 that is most nearly opposite in meaning to the boldface word or expression in the phrase on page number 95, I'm going to read the first phrase, uh, a real old-timer at the game of chess. Old-timer means a person who is highly experienced. And the opposite meaning for old-timer is fledgling. Fledgling, a person who is very, very inexperienced, who doesn't have a lot of exposure to any practicality. So fledgling is the antonym for old-timer. Number two. Had no subsequent arrest. Subsequent means something that is following. And prior means earlier or before. So these are the two antonyms to each other. Prior will be answer for number two. Number three, an ordinary person without any striking qualities. Ordinary means something that is simple or common. But notable means something highly remarkable, having high distinction. So notable is the antonym for number three word, ordinary. Number four, almost nothing correct in her homework. So something that is correct, it means that is completely all right. But the opposite word for correct will be amiss, A-M-I-S-S. -S. 
Our answer for number four is a miss. Number five on page 95, the witness is honesty on the stand. Honesty means you are true. And for this word, the antonym will be perjury. So far, we have done our synonyms and antonyms for this unit seven. I hope you would have written all the words correctly. My dear students, please learn all the vocabulary words with respect to their synonyms and antonyms. See you next time with a new lesson. Till then, bye-bye.